Well, hello, friends. 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 I'm Linus from Germany, and I'm working on an implementation of the Fetch API in LibWeb, which is our browser engine. And this started with a lot of infrastructure, but now I have a working uh, Fetch method, which can download HTML, like in this case, or we can query an API, like our yak emoji explainer. And it even supports different URLs, like data URLs which works for text or images or things like that. And it also works in Ladybird on Linux. I am Stefan from Germany and I am currently working on shader support for libgl and libsoft GPU. Shaders will allow us to do different image effects, like for example, display texture coordinates as colors, or to rotate the color components. Having the whole shader infrastructure in place uh, will then allow us to start working on actual GPU drivers. I'm Leon, or Henny Adioin, from Berlin, and in the past I've been working on all sorts of things for the system. To name one of the things I've been working on in the last few months is improving FilmRegion's Serenity OS Syntax Highlighter. For example, I've added support for WebIDL, which we use in LibWeb, and the bytecode we generate for LibJS's bytecode interpreter. I'm Kleines Filmröhrchen from Germany, and except for this month, I usually like to do things that you don't notice. I implemented a mastering filter so that you can unmute your sick bass line that you just wrote and you can pan it left and right. I have also implemented a median filter for pixel paint. There is also a vector scope showing you the color distribution. I have also worked on the version information. And finally, there is presenter. It's like PowerPoint, but better. I'm Tim from Germany and I'm currently working on making Serenity OS self-hosting, which means that Serenity OS can build and run inside of itself. So here you can see Serenity OS inside of Serenity OS. The inner instance has been completely built and booted inside of the outer Serenity OS instance. It's occasionally quite slow, especially if you start actually doing something inside the inner instance. And there are also quite a few missing features. For example, you can see the red graph here should be the network graph, but that's disabled. But considering that we were only at building a toolchain six months ago, I think that's quite a good progress. I'm Tobias, I'm from Germany. And together with Sam and Linus, I've been building a lot of the web driver lately. The web driver allows an external program, like Pro in this case, to call um, through to the web driver and do things in the browser. So here I'm just doing two calls and the browser did what we wanted to do, namely opening the GitHub issue page where we can see all the endpoints that have already been implemented or are yet to be implemented. This is DJ Wisdom from the Philippines, and I am working on themes, emojis, and documentation. Here are some documentations which I added. I also help in maintaining ports to Trinity OS by Hacker. Uh, within the last several months, I slowly added improvements to several themes like Chili Chili. Dirk, non Dirk, and most recently, the Redmond Zen. Thank you. I'm Tim Slater from the United States, and I'm working on a text tool for Pixel Paint. You can change the font, move the text around, and apply it to the layer. It can use both primary and secondary colors with left and right click, and it also supports multi line text. 
My name is Fred Chatur and I live in Stockholm, Sweden. And right now I'm working on emoji. I've uh, made a lot of emoji lately. And right now I'm working on two different things. One is showing more information about the emoji on emoji.srenityos.net. So you can see the different uh, uh, changes and colors and stuff like that. I've also been working on an interactive demo of our emoji. Just to show people new ways to use the emoji. So it's still a work in progress, but you pick a biome and you have moving animals and you can uh, run around with the yak and stuff like that. I'm Gregory from the US working on video playback in Serenity OS. This is a version of the player that just buffers the video for as much as it can in a 1024 frame buffer so that it can play back smoothly. And you can see that it managed to pl play back very smoothly here. And the seek bar progresses as it should based on the duration of the video and the current sample. If I open the Serenity OS August update video, which is in 1080p, you can see that it takes quite a bit longer for it to buffer and the RAM usage climbs quite a bit. As you can see, once it finishes buffering, the playback is very smooth. The cursor is moving in 60 FPS and it looks very good. And the RAM usage, of course, drops significantly. So that's the current state of the video player. Hopefully I can improve it from here. <laughs>